Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this Web Security Academy lab, we'll deliver a CSRF attack to our victim to change their email address. But from the lab description, we know that our victim is using a Chrome-based browser. And the trick here is that Chrome will implicitly set the same site attribute of our victim session cookie to lax if our victim has been logged in for more than two minutes, which is the case in this lab. Which means that Chrome won't be sending the session cookie in a post request. So to solve the lab, we'll have to find a way to turn that post request into a GET request to ensure our victim session cookie gets sent along with the change email request. Let's go to the lab and let's go to my account. We know that we can log in with the username wiener password peter. Let's log in. We can see our current email is wiener at normaluser.net. Let's try and change this to wiener at abnormaluser.net. Hit enter. And now let's switch to burp. And let's go to proxy and HTTP history. And let's look at the post my account change email request here. There's no CSRF cookie set here. There's no CSRF token set in the body, which means this post request is vulnerable to a CSRF attack. Now let's look at the cookie. So let's go to the post login request here. And we can see that the session cookie is being set. There's an expiry date set. It's set to secure, so HTTPS only. And it's, only it's not accessible from JavaScript. But What's not set is a same site attribute, which means that for a Chrome-based browser, it will be set to lax automatically after two minutes. So let's verify that in the developer console. And then hit F12 to open the developer console. I'm using the cookie editor extension. It's quite handy to see all the cookie attributes. So for the session cookie, we can see here that the same site attribute is not set, which means it'll be automatically set to lax after two minutes. If you don't have this extension, I'll link to it in the description, but if you don't have it right now, you can also view the cookie attributes under application and then under cookies here to the left. And we can see here the same site attribute is not set. Back to burp. Let's go to the post my account change email request here, send it to repeater. And then I'm gonna generate the CSRF POC to go to engagement tools and generate CSRF POC. If you don't have the professional edition, don't worry, I'll include um, a link to this piece of code in the description. Go to options and make sure that include auto submit script is checked. And let's copy this back to the lab. I'm going to close this um, developer console and go to the exploit server. I'm going to paste our payload here. I want to try and deliver. So I'm going to change the email first to Wiener Schnitzel. And I want to try and deliver the exploit to our victim like this with the method set to post because of this tidbit right here where Chrome will make an exception for um, cookies set without a same site attribute less than two minutes ago, such cookies will also be sent with non-item potent post top level cross-site requests. So if our victim has been logged in for less than two minutes, this should work. So let's deliver the exploit to the victim. And we don't get the message that the lab hasn't solved successfully because the victim has been logged in for more than two minutes. We can verify this ourselves because if we attempt to view the exploit, we'll get the login screen. And if we log in again, Wiener Peter, we see that our email hasn't been changed to Wiener Schnitzel. So I'm going to change the email again to Wiener Schnitzel. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to send a new post request that we can use in Repeater just to re because we've refreshed our session cookie by logging in again. Go back to burp, close this, go to proxy. And we have our latest post request here to change our email. Let's send that to Repeater. Uh, what I want to try now is instead of sending it as a post request, let's see if we can set it as a send it as a get request by changing the request method here and see if that works because the cookie would be sent in a get request even with same site uh, set to lax. But what we get back is method not allowed. But there's another thing we can try and that's something called method spoofing where certain web frameworks like the Laravel PHP framework because HTML forms don't support certain actions like put, patch, and delete, these frameworks allow you to overwrite the request method behavior through a hidden input parameter, in this case, underscore method. So in this case, in this example, we're still sending the request as a, the form as a post request, but we're telling the web framework to, through this hidden parameter, to interpret the request as a put request. And the way we could leverage this for our exploit is we can send our form as a get request, but then through this hidden input parameter, we can tell the web framework to interpret it as a post request. And that would do two things for us. Because we send it as a get request first, 
that would allow us to get around the cookie restriction because even if the same site equals lax restriction is set to the victim session cookie, that doesn't count for a get request. So the session cookie of the victim will still be sent. And then through this input parameter, we tell the underlying web framework to interpret it as a post request. And that might allow us to get around this method not allow check that is happening here. So let's try that out. So I'm going to go back to the Laravel documentation here and copy this line. Let's hit an input. And then I'm going to go to our lab and go to the exploit server. And I'm going to change the method to get. And let's change the email to evil. And then above that, we're going to paste our payload. So input type equals hidden. And the name is underscore method. And the value will be post. And let's send this uh, exploit to our victim. And as you can see now, we've successfully solved the lab. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful to you.